Hello everybody, my name is The Political Moose, and welcome back to Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power and Revolution, where we are once again playing the Scottish Road to Independence, where today we will be concluding the war with Denmark. In the last episode, uh, we were actually kicked out of NATO um, because of our aggression against the Faroe Islands up here. Um, I believe it was Denmark who actually... Uh, went ahead and brought actually it was the Faroese that brought ahead a resolution am amongst the UN that authorized military intervention against us. Um, Denmark went ahead and declared war on us, Sweden as well, um, Switzerland and Austria. Uh, the war itself is going pretty good. Um, let me go ahead and check the totals. <clears throat> Figured I would record some video here today before I uh, go and see Avengers Endgame tonight. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. And also, uh, Game of Thrones Episode 3 is starting tonight. So if you guys... Actually, I was thinking about this. Um, I was thinking about playing Crusader Kings 2, and I do have a Game of Thrones mod. Um, and in spirit of it being the, the final season of Game of Thrones, I actually could do some footage of that. Let me know in the comments below if you guys do want to see some of that um, as well. But back at the task at hand... Um, it does look like we went ahead and killed almost 10,000 Danish troops compared to our 131. So it looks like we're doing relatively well. Um, our growth is going up a little bit, but our currency is still actually quite above the United States dollar. Um, and our inflation rating hasn't been going up at all, as shown here in this graph. Um, although our interest rate is currently at 20%. So um, let's go ahead and finish this war with the Danish. All right, got one there. Go ahead and... Actually, I want to attack them because they're actually going to my oil rig, it looks like. Pause it quick because I'm going to actually target these fighters. Possibly move these fighters that are at this location up to this base because um, for some reason when fighters take off from this base, they kind of glitch out. So we move those up there. Gonna try to blow those guys up. I have a feeling that Denmark is actually going to want peace after this. <clears throat> I could be wrong. Alright, let's go ahead and... Yeah. Actually, we're not going to go after those guys. We're after those ones. We're not going to be able to catch those fighters. They're gone. Go ahead and bomb these guys as well. Go ahead and speed things up here. I'm going to take a couple shots. Didn't do too much damage. There wasn't too many of them. They are trying to escape, but I don't think they're going to. I think that's going to take them all out. Nope. Not all of them. Hopefully our guys can get them. You know what? I'm going to actually um, move my missile launchers up here, unfortunately. I'm just going to focus my fighters, possibly, on... Yeah, I'm going to focus my fighters on these guys, because I'm kind of worried about those guys. They're, uh, their navy coming in. So I'm going to put my missile launchers right on the coast, because when their navy gets close enough, I'm just going to light them up. Yeah, 
Got to wait for them to get close enough. Come on. Get closer. Get closer. Get closer. There we go. Oh, got to pause. <clears throat> okay. Let's take a look here. Nothing at that Air Force. There's a little bit left at that Air Force, but we're looking all right. Um, got some troops coming in. 3K. Going to focus on that one in the middle, I think. Yeah. Go ahead and see if we can get those guys. Blow things down. Minister is worried. You change the player. The headquarters operational shuttles are under cyber. It's not good. That's one thing I'm worried about. One reason why I want to hurry up and get this war taken care of is because our cybersecurity is still not finished. Uh, we do get the gold package for free though, once it does finish. Um over here. Because we do get the gold package because the United Kingdom had it. Um so it automatically gives it to us for free. We just have to finish building it. Oh, we just took out half of his ships there. Can we do more? And his ships are gone. Perfect. Move our ships back. We can send them back. Actually, let's... Let's send them back down here. Perfect. Our cyber attack whipped Denmark. We have a cyber attack. Good. Good, good. One thing I am very worried about. <clears throat> Blow things down again. I believe I may have a couple helicopters. No, I don't. That's unfortunate. Now that we can use our navy. Go ahead and get those guys out of the water before they... Oh, boy. Got a, another jet coming in. Let's go ahead and take those guys out quick. We're going to have to really get our approval rating up once uh, this war is over. Alright, took care of those guys. Put things down for a second. The missile's coming in at me. I'm not too worried about it, though. Okay, we've got a surplus of money here. I think I'm actually going to uh, get some more missiles. Double our troop capacity there. Um, I don't think anybody's going to sell us any equipment right now. Sadly. Alrighty. Find some more high value ones. Didn't see a 5,000 in here. Let's go for those guys. Trying to get. inflict as much damage as really. much as possible because then um, it'll just force Denmark to surrender, really. It 
send another one at this guy. Hopefully we can send a missile at these guys. That's not good. Let us shoot those guys down. Keep shooting missiles at them. Big cash surplus for growth token like 6.87. Well, that's not good. Um, these guys, our missile launchers may go bye bye. Hopefully not. Okay, 2,000 of them did. Rinse and repeat. It's got to take out all their soldiers. Oh, 44,000. It's a big one. <clears throat> Fighter should be able to take care of them all. Five K left. Oh yeah, we can get rid of all these. Not an issue. Nineteen thousand. See, this is what I mean about it getting hung up around this area. Might have to do a little something with the airspace. Completely different. These guys are actually pretty good. Um, they did want to in their growth a little bit more. Go ahead and raise the tax on financial transactions just by a little bit. Yeah, it's 0.05. Looks like that will pass. Yeah, those guys will be taken care of. Along with the same fleet, possibly. Yes, we got one. Get his helicopters. And let's go ahead and get rid of these guys before they make it to our base up here. And we are pushing them back. Oh god, our growth is going up. Employment is around 0%. That's not good. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year based in calculation. That might be a little scary for our We'll take a look at that after the war here, but that might be scary for our inflation rating. think for this video i think we're just gonna wrap up this war i think we're gonna win and then we'll call it for this video because i'm gonna go see uh end game well that's a lot of, oh going to nope, nope 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 that's a lot of ships coming in or not ships but planes How much more can they take?
British troops close to Scotland. That's not good. Send. I'm just sending these out. Um, I want. I need to hurry up with this war. I really need to hurry up with this war because it looks like the British are getting ready to declare war on me as I'm flying through their territory. Faced with this threat, I can, with your agreement, and for security reasons, oh my God. give marching orders to a- Sucks, but okay. I really think we should- Oh my God, just surrender. I need to get out of the way. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, no, you're not doing that. You will surrender. I've got no problem taking all their troops out one by one. Oh god, missiles. That might kill us. I need these troops to hurry up and get there. We gotta shoot those guys down. Or they shoot our troops down. Sink our troops. Quickly. Quickly. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm just acting as cover, essentially, as my troops get here. Hopefully they surrender rather quickly. There we go, they officially surrendered. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Go home. Go home. Yes, that's perfect. And the bill has been voted on and it has passed. Hopefully that'll bring our growth down a little bit. Actually, our inflation has not gone up. And our currency still keeps continuing to rise. Strange. Skip a few days here, hopefully. End of the conflict. Okay, let's pause it. Hendrik Hanberg shot at dawn. Man, we're just executing everybody as we uh, have them surrender. It's like, oh, surrender to us. We won't execute you, and we do. On the war of Sweden. It must be conceded that there is a stalemate between the two armies. It's interesting. Go ahead and pause that. The enemy has surrendered. It is with emotion and pride that I announce the capitulation of those who yesterday imagined they would subjugate us. 
Let us celebrate our victory and come together to honor those who died for the greatness of our country. We lost 141 civilian and military casualties. Cost us 1.82 million as a whole. Huh. Peace treaty. You know what? We're going to go colonize. Which is actually quite cool. Uh, because not only does that mean that we d get Denmark as a colony. But we also get Greenland as well. I'm actually really surprised Norway didn't join in on that. Go to bad road. The enemy seems to have taken a slight advantage. Now what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to rejoin NATO. Um, I think that might cause Sweden to not attack us anymore. Um, since we will be a NATO a member. I'm going to click apply to join. Um, and then I think what we'll look at doing... Uh, Possibly in the next episode is building a base in Denmark, like say on this island. So if they don't submit, we can just bomb the living hell out of them. Send those troops home too. Hopefully they let me back into NATO. NATO file accepted. That's good. 1.20%. Alright. We can start investing some of that money. Slow things down here a bit. Um, let's invest some of that money since we're still wide open for our cybersecurity. How much would that cost us? 3.2 billion. It, uh, let's do two stars. Yeah. Maybe that'll help us. Preventing um, some future attacks because we're still at war with Sweden, Austria, and Switzerland. And I think I really want to colonize Switzerland because, you know, they're supposed to be known for their uh, neutrality, but they're not in this game. Or in this playthrough, I should say. It looks like we have perfected. Um, oh, Reagan Fabric. I'm not going to sell that worldwide because we don't need any more growth. We're sitting at 9.56 percent. Then skip time up here. Hopefully, we can get into NATO. Growth is just continuously shooting up. NATO membership granted. Perfect. Yes. It looks like that increased all of our. Um, relations with all these countries in the area so that is perfect um i think in the next episode we're definitely going to look at joining uh the european union as well um and i think we're going to definitely look at building a base here on this island because it doesn't look like sweden is willing to um bow down to us at all or not necessarily bow down to us but um declare white peace with us so i think we're definitely going to have to look at continuing a war with them. Gonna have to create a network of agents. Go ahead and see if we can create one in Sweden. Doesn't look like we have enough um, special agents yet. Damn, that sucks. Well, I think we're gonna call it here for this episode. We did go ahead and finish that war with Denmark. We passed a law. Um, for law and financial transactions. I do believe we have an election coming up, so that will be in the next episode as well. Um, I'm also thinking about, like I mentioned earlier, recording a video for Crusader Kings 2 with the Game of Thrones mod. Um, if you guys are interested in that, um, drop a comment down below. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, feel free to subscribe, and if you did enjoy the video, feel free to like the video as well. And I thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.